Well, my management said that uh, Vin Diesel reached out and he was talking about a role that on the next Fast and Furious will become a bigger role. And I'm like, ah, uh, why not? You know, I was a little over doing short, short appearances in films, but I'm like, it's freaking Fast and Furious. So I was like, get me there, put me on a plane. <laughs> I was really nervous, you know what I'm saying? I was really nervous. You know, Vin Diesel, he always plays like this very serious guy in, in film. So it's just like, oh, I'm scared. But he's just so nice, so dope. He makes you feel so comfortable. And that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I think she's conceited and she's very confident. Uh, you know, there's a difference between conceited and confident, but I think she's really both. <laughs> and I guess she's very competitive. And she's just that bitch. That's what I could say about her. She's really that bitch. Lisa's really that bitch. It does feel great because um, I remember when I saw Ludacris. And Fast and Furious, I was so happy and excited because I grew up listening to Ludacris. And then I remember when um, the whole reggaeton movement started when I was like 10 years old. I was practically like 10 years old. And um, when I saw Tego Calderon in the movie and the music, I was just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I listen, I know him, I love, I know him, I love him. And then to see Don Omar, it was just like a, like a, I don't know, like, it just was like a, a hype in the, in the, you know, Latin community. Everybody was pretty happy and pretty happy and felt like a, like a hope, hopesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to describe it because reggaeton is not, it's, it's a big genre, but it's almost like kind of shun because it's, you know, it's, you know how it is, it's gangsta, it's slutty. So when you see those artists from that genre in these big movies, it's just like, it makes, it makes the hood have hope. <laughs>